the strongest hybrid in the game, <laughs> Yudon, who looks lovely, fluffy, and derpy. Hey. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World the Game. <laughs> Yeah, if I can talk properly. <laughs> there has been, I, I know, right? Is it like two days in a row we did Jurassic World content? It's awesome. So you guys, if you're enjoying it, uh, leave a like. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do another one tomorrow because that's, well, to be honest, we are pretty darn close to winning the Eops. And everyone's been saying that you, there's a glitch in this where, and it's true. Because for the past few tournaments, you just get to number one in Dominator. Everybody else below, or the but the bot, should we say, um, all have the same score. Which is kind of, like, it's good in a way, because if you drop below a certain thing, you'll go straight to Predator. So it doesn't take long to get back up there. Um, but Eops is the last creature that we need to unlock in the game. However, however... There has been an update, sort of, in the game. Um, if we go on here, we've got the tiny terrors, which is, I mean, uh, it's all right. I mean, it's something you have to buy, so do we really care? <laughs> but what we're really here for is Udon. Yeah, that's right. The strongest dinosaur by a mile has finally been released into the game. Now, whether or not uh, Ludia felt rushed to have to do this because um, it was sort of accidentally put out, for a, like a short time and people who played on PC or it was certain people, I, I don't even know if it was like a certain platform, but certain people were ma managed to make the hybrid. As you can see, it's Uteranus and this made my top one spot, like top 10 dinosaurs in Jurassic World the game. This was number one, spoilers, because <laughs> you can't beat it. It's the best dinosaur. Yes, it's the most expensive and yes, it probably doesn't make the most coin or God, God knows what, but for what it is, you can't, if it's the strongest in the game, it has to be at least close to, to number one. Um, and I, th I think I just had to. I had to make it number one. Uh, access to VIP lounge to learn about exclusive benefits. Ooh, I know. So also, oh, this is back. Okay, it was down for a minute, but uh, let's see what we won. 13 Sarcastodons. All right, that's way too many. I've got those two Ostrichosauruses, one Pterodactylus, and four decoration packs. Now, this is going to be really good because, um, as you'll notice, we're on 725,000 DNA, which is a lot for a short period of time as well. In um, I think it was just in general, um, incubation pods were free. So... That was good, but at the same time, for the past seven or eight days, I don't even know how long it's been, I've just been having Ostomosaurus waiting in there, ready to hatch. I've just been, like, not hatching it because, I, you know, the longer I wait, the, the more books I save. And at this point in the game, I get DNA and VIP points way more than I get books, so I gotta hold on to those. So we got Gorgosaurus, um, 400 DNA... For 80 VIP points? Yeah, I'd trade that. For most, we're probably more likely to get the DNA than anything else. Um, hopefully we get the uh, decorations. Decorations pack. Um, I mean, we can sell the buildings in uh, some of the trade harbors. So we're definitely... I don't know, guys. I don't know if we're going to max it up. I can't promise you that. <laughs> because it's... Um, it's probably going to be really, really expensive. In fact, I remember uh, when I was researching for that video I did... Um, finding out how much it was going to cost, and it was a bomb. <laughs> it was crazy expensive. But first, before we do anything, we do have a max uh, Uteranus. Uh, the only thing I'm looking for is the Trodon, which we need to max out as well. We only need one more Trodon, or Trodon, yeah, I think it's Trodon, isn't it, to max it out. So, you know what, let's, let's claim Evil 1. Did you know that Trodon is often labeled as the smartest dinosaur on account of its unusually large brain? Uh, some more food. While the brain was proportionally larger compared to its 70-pound 70 70 body, the Trodon has the intellect or intelligence of an average chicken. <laughs> well then, shows how smart it really was. Had it gone extinct, it's speculated that Trodon might have evolved to a human level of intelligence. Really? I mean, we have Monday birds, and yeah, they're intelligent, but they've been around longer than we have, right? And they never evolved to a human-like intelligence. Y y you're talking about a Trodon becoming sentient. No, I really don't think so. <laughs> I mean, you, you guys in the comments can tell me whether that's rubbish or not. But I do not think Trodon would have... Do you think they'd be driving around in cars? <laughs> I don't think so. Anyway, what, what unfortunately I'm going to have to do... 
is buy one of the Ostabasaurus's back uh, just to free up a slot. Uh, so I'm going to lose 400 bucks for doing that, but, uh, you know, it could be a lot worse. It really could. So with that said, I think we've got a Trodon ready to hatch. No. <gasps> Ooh, do we not? Carnivores. No, I don't have a Trodon. Okay. It is over here. 7,500. Speed up. And they, oh my god, that was like a thousand. <laughs> that was so much to speed up. Right. Let's get to work on this guy. On this boy. So we're going to get, I think we... Have we had a level 40 Trodon before? I don't think we have. For some other reason, I'm probably getting that mixed up with, um... Uh, Tiny Colosaurus, I think. Yes. We definitely have a level 40 of that. Uh, this, however... No, also, this is the first time I'm recording on a new computer! Um, because... <laughs> oh, long story. This computer was at my house. I had a, like, I record from home, so I have a whole setup there. Um... Uh, but I, like if some of you guys might know, I don't have good internet there. It sucks balls. <laughs> so I've had to bring it over to here, uh, like a makeshift office, which is really tiny, um, until I eventually get fiber optic or something like better internet. Um, and yeah, so it's kind of unfortunate, but you know, I had a really good computer just sat doing nothing And the other computer that I was using went on the fritz. So, uh, while that one's getting fixed, this one will stay here for the time being So there it is, level 40! Oh, I was hoping first time. I was hoping first time So, we're on 721,000 DNA Which is still quite a bit, like, we, I, we're getting loads of DNA, I don't know how it's happening I think it's the lottery, I, I I could be wrong though. At the moment, the tournament prizes are really, really good because um, all you fight is like level one legendary hybrids and that's it. That's all you fight. Um, so, like, you can just do the tournament over and over and over and you've got a high chance of getting packs. So, let's get to level 40. Oh, that's a point actually. We'll probably not be able to get level 40. Um, you don't because we don't have enough food. However, I guess if we really wanted to, we could just go around to every all the other evolutions like Claim Evo 4, that's 800,000 food yet yeah, is. The name Trodon comes from Greek for wounding tooth due to its serrated teeth. And there it is, level 40. Hey little chicken. Aren't you? Well, Udon does still have that feathery uh, head, the headpiece, the ornate headpiece. I feel, yeah, we've never got this guy before and we're going to lose it straight away. It definitely does look bird-like, that's for sure. I'm pretty sure that, um, I'm trying, what's his name again? Jack Horner, that's right, Jack Horner may be a little bit pleased with it when it comes to this design. Uh, or more so, definitely, because, uh, it's feathered <laughs> and, and brightly colored, just like a, a bird would be. Uh, so yeah, let's go. Alan Grande. Alan. Right. Right, so we've got that. Did, it said fuse on, didn't it? Fuse on! So here it is. We could, So this is the Uteranus. This is the other one that we need to uh, fuse together. But before we do, because if we fuse it and lose it, we're not going to be able to claim the Evo points. Fuse it and lose it. That should be like... <laughs> that should be the tagline. Just so like... It's like a warning. It's like fuse it and lose it. Remember that. Because if you fuse it, you're going to lose that level 40. And it may not be worth it unless you get level 20. So meaning Feathered Tyrant, the U in Uteranus, comes from Mandarin, Chinese. Oh, well, okay. Ingen's Uteranus is one of the only cloned species to maintain its feathery down. Ooh, do you think that's hinting towards Uteranus in future franchises? Or other games like uh, Jurassic World Ev Extinction? No, Evolution? <laughs> possibly, possibly. We've got a cannon. Uh, did you know that Uteranus lived during the early Cretaceous period? in what is now northeastern China. And the final one! Uh, a relative of the T-Rex, the Uteranus is known as both the largest feathered dinosaur and theropod. Ooh, good, okay, right. Well, I'm guessing they mean theropod in the right context because last time they, <laughs> they said theropod meant carnivorous, which was wrong. So yeah, ooh, that's interesting. But uh, maybe all dinosaurs were feathered, eh? Or at least a lot of them, anyway. So, with that done, we've claimed our prizes. Oh, phew! So here it is, Udon. Oh, wow, that... Oh, my God, Trodon! You, are you having fun there? <laughs> He's really bopping for any... So, 500 DNA just to attempt it. 80 to speed it up. And first time... Ooh, it'll be second time, I think. 
Wow, Trodon is... He's having a party in there, aren't you? Okay, so that's a thousand DNA so far. And nothing. Well, we're halfway. So another 500. Oh, is it going to cost me 2,000 DNA just to uh, get it? I think it is. Yeah, there it is. So here it is, the strongest hybrid in the game, <laughs> Yudon. Who looks lovely, fluffy, and derpy. Hey. Oh, it looks like you can cuddle it. Yes. Oh, yeah, we'll put you there, dude. We'll put you there. Yudon is now available to purchase inside the dino market. So there it is. So at level one, 794 attack and 2,540 health. Oh, it's like goofy. Gosh, Mickey. Hold on, wait for its mouth to close. <laughs> yeah, it was a cutie. <laughs> With those feathers. Oh, it looks so cute. Well, let's feed it to level 10. Nom. Yeah, it's still got its little feathered um, pine cone of a head from it. <laughs> from Trodon. As well as the claws from Trodon as well. Wow, that's interesting. Because usually all the dinosaurs that are the T-Rex animation have two claws. Including other dinosaurs, such as Allosaurs, which did not have two claws. But for some odd reason, this one has retained its... Um, it's, uh, what do you call it? It's Trodon features of three claws. The raptor. I think, does raptor, did raptor, raptor have three claws or Trodon? It's a close relative. Anyway, so we all know that, oh, level 10, 3,810 health and 1,191 attack. Hold on, guys, before we go any further, I just want to check it out on the roster. At level 10, where is it? <laughs> oh, there it is. It's better than a dragon. Oh, my God. Almost on par. With Ostoposaurus as well. Well, I would say it's basically on par. It's got more health but less attack. That's a level 10. At level 20, I'm assuming it's going to be on par with Rajasteger and possibly Indominus. Ooh. Ooh. So we're going to have... We've got level 40 Segnosuchus. A level 40 Erlophosaurus. Level 40 Gorgosuchus. Uh, level 40 Indominus. 40 Rajasteger. The only dinosaurs we're missing. Level 40. That are like... Legendary hybrids is Metrophodon, Pritrodon, and um, Ostobosaurus. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, okay. Well, there's only one thing left to do, guys. We, you know the rules. If we have a level 10 hybrid, it's always a ripoff to keep it like that. You have to buy an extra one to fuse it to level 20, and there, that's when you're gonna get more bang for your buck, basically. Always get level 20. Uh, we should come up with a saying for that. So, 36,000 food, may as well. Uh, the Udon is a hybrid of the Trudon and the land carnivore Uter Uteranus? You mean Uteranus? Not is. <laughs> god damn it, Lydia. Oh, he's with the spelling mistake. Oh, god, beautiful. Can we preview? So, level 40, what's it gonna look like? Oh, it's feathered. It looks awesome. Okay, we might, we might get that. We might get level 40. Ooh, maybe. <laughs> so, evolve. We need to go to mark how much. 78,000. Can we just put that in perspective? Segna Suchus, which is if, the most expensive until now. 51. Where's Metrophodon? Elovasaurus is 43. Where's, where's Metrophodon? Metrophodon. Metrophodon is 62,000. So it is an extra 62. To, <laughs> it's an extra 16,000. Friggin' DNA. More expensive than... um. Then Metrophodon. Now, I think we should get level 40, guys. What do you think? Or I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. We can we can definitely get level 30. Because I think that's probably going to be the uh, the best we can do. Um, you know what? If you hit... Show, I'll, let's do a challenge! If you hit... If you get this video up to... 5,000 likes? I'd say 5,000. Yeah, because I don't, I don't want to go crazy. We should do 10,000, shouldn't we? We should do 10,000. You know what? No, yeah, sod it. Let's go, let's go for 10. If this video gets 10,000 likes, if you stayed here to, in, 50 minutes in, <laughs> not listening to this, if we get to 50, sorry, 10,000 likes, we will get a level 40 in the next episode. And that episode will, or at least we'll, we'll get a level 40 when we face Alpha 06, I think it is. Uh, which is the next boss, which I'm, I'm sure is coming in four days because we've, we've got a countdown like right here. Um, where is it? Yeah, three days. Three days and 23 hours. So basically four days. Alpha 06. When that comes, we will you we'll max up Udon to level 40 and face it off 
with whatever this is. Also, people said it could be Spinosaur Alpha 06, and that would make sense. Like, Omega being a T-Rex and uh, Alpha being a Spinosaur. So it could be a huge raptor, for all we know. That would be, that would be really cool, actually, a mutant raptor. Uh, but yeah, anyway, um, what were we doing? That's right, we were going to get, we were going to buy another one, weren't we? Uh, so 78,000, whoa, <laughs> 1,600 to speed up. Okay, here it is. You gotta watch this, because you're not gonna see many people buy these, or at least people who don't hack the game buy it, because <laughs> it's really expensive. Oh God. So there you go, level 10, evolve it. Look at all the feathers, 140 and 120. You see, this is cheap, except it's, it's actually more expensive on the bugs. Um, so we're on 640,000 DNA. I haven't really been that low since buying all those Ostoposauruses. So there it is, level 20, almost 5,000 health and 1,500 attack at level 11. <laughs> and it costs like a quarter of a million to feed one level. Okay, let's go. Let's get it to level 19. And I, I want to watch the eating animation one more time. Just, 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 just one more time. So let's, let's get, let him go back. Go on. Off you go. Take a few steps. And go. There we go. So at level 20, 6,527 health and 2,040 attack. Now it's not going to double that. It's going to do, it's going to do more than that when it gets to level 40. So the level, claim the Evo. So we get how much? 260,000? Yep. Though not the largest hybrid in Jurassic World, the impressive feathered spines of the Udon make it a one of the most intimidating. Ah, there you go. That's, that's what Jack Horner wants. He wants scary feathered dinosaurs. <laughs> it's like people don't find uh, feathered dinosaurs scary. Well, maybe they will when they see this thing anyway. Oh, it looks awesome. Well, that's at level 20. We need to buy two more. We're going to get it definitely to level 30 today. But first, before we do that, I just want to check where it, where it is in the roster. Uh, I don't think that's... Oh, no, yeah. There, there you go. Better than Indominus. <laughs> level 20. So at level 30, I'm expecting it to be uh, better than Gorgosuchus, better than Metrophodon. It's going to be the third best creature. I feel like that's what's going to happen. Also... While I'm maxing this guy up, we're also, like, putting up the limit of what dinosaurs, dinosaurs we're going to face. As you can see, level 2,179 Guanlong, and because my team's overall strength is being, like, lifted, because I'm putting one of the strongest hybrids in my team, we're going to be facing off against even stronger enemies now, because of that. Um, especially when we get to level 40. So let's buy, let, there you go, there's one created. So 562,000, we're gonna drop, oh yeah, are we? Are we gonna drop? We may drop below 500,000 DNA. Oh God, yep, that's it, we're gonna, oh, there he goes, 483,000, which is still a lot of DNA. And this is what I was saving all my DNA for, this dinosaur to come out. Because who knows when the next, like, next update's coming. I mean, it's obviously gonna come. It's not like the game's dead. I'm just saying, but who knows how long that's gonna be and if it's gonna bring any other dinosaurs to it. it of course it's going to, but are they gonna be better than you, Don, at the moment? No. Do you remember when Indominus Rex came out and we thought, yeah, that's gonna be the best dinosaur, right? Ha! <laughs> yeah, well, that, uh, that certainly changed pretty darn quick, didn't it? Whew, so this is going to be the level 30. Ah, oh, nicely done. I'll, I'll take that. Uh, also, we've got to keep an eye out for food as well. So we're on 48 million. Uh, oops, sorry. 48 million and down to 45 million. So only a 3 million drop, which is not too much. We're going to see this thing eat a lot, though, in its next form. Level 30, 160 and 162. Oh, not bad. I was expecting a little bit more of a dent into the box. It's almost equal. And there you go. Second time's a charm. Collect. Five-star Udon. Oh, that now it looks like Trodon. <laughs> That's great. Awesome to see the traits of that Trodon come through. Ooh, look at you. Now you take 1,200,000 of pop. So level 21, 8,000 health and 2,500 attack. Uh, now we're gonna level it up to... There you go. Oh, we lost over 10 million food there. And at level 30, 9,949 attack... Sorry, health. And 3,100 attack. So, I'm assuming that's better than Gorgosuchus. It's health... It's got more health than Gorgosuchus. I don't know about attack, though. So, let's claim our third evolution prize. 
which is only 100 bucks, but a million food. The Udon is smaller but faster than the Uteranus, and with more strength pound for pound. Oh, okay. You see, that's the thing, right? You can't tell how big these dinosaurs are. Apparently, Spinoraptor is supposed to be huge. But it's not, <laughs> for some odd reason. In the game, it's, like, kind of small. Spinoraptor, like, they, they released, like, Jurassic World released a book of a size chart of all the hybrids. And Spinoraptor was massive. And it just, it was so contrasting with, you know, what it is in the game. If it's supposed to be that big, make it that big. That would be so cool. Uh, so there it is, level 30. Let's see where that fits in with the roster. I'm looking forward to this. Oh, it beat a Lophosaurus even. It's, oh my God, it's got more health in it. I knew it was more than Gorgosuchus. I didn't know more than Erlophosaurus. So at level 30. Ooh. Okay. Right, right. There's only one thing to do. We could do this. We could do the Dominator Elite Battle. However, we will only be facing terrible dinosaurs. Now, what I was thinking is we do the, um, this boosted Cenozoic Battle. We put in our top three creatures... And we also put in, um, yeah, yeah, we could put in gold, I suppose, uh, apart from some of that. And let's just see what we face up against. I'm curious, because I highly doubt there's going to be any glaciers in this battle. Nah, I didn't think so, and we definitely won. <laughs> we definitely won. Oh, look at that 4,000. Oh, almost kills it in one hit. Almost. Although, saying that, this Segna Sutures does a lot of damage. For something that's weak to me. Oh my god. But we are only level oh god, two attack. Oh, that's not good. Oh god. Okay, five thousand, but we're still we're still we're still coming. It's okay. Uh now we lost five thousand damage, right? How about we give ourselves two hundred and fifty percent health? Which takes us to twenty-nine thousand. <laughs> Woohoo! Let's go for um two block, one reserve. Oh my god, plus eight for defense. I got it in the attack. <laughs> right, so it cannot touch us unless it has like plus four attack. Which I can, I think that's definitely one. Okay, plus three for its goes. Ooh, ooh, it could do five attack. Ooh, this is interesting. Oh, it only goes for one though. Okay, okay. Don't mind it. Right. So that means that he could have four block. Um... I really want Udon to win this. I really do. Um, you know what? Let's give ourselves four reserves. Uh, that'll take us to eight. We go for two block and then four and then... Should we go for two attack? I feel like he's going to block though. We'll go for two attack just in case. Ah, oh, I knew it. Yeah, I thought so. But that's all right. He definitely can't kill us. Whoa, the feather tail looked awesome. So thick and fluffy. Okay. Oh, no. All right. Well, that's three from our next go. So we're going to have five. It's still got three. Goes for two. It's only got one potential block. And we've got 29,000 health. Oh, yeah. There we go. So it's got one block. So we have to go for three. And then... You know what? I'm going to minus four from his next go. So he's only got one potential go. Um, he could do, like, four attack, though. Because I haven't seen the attack. I saw the defense, but I haven't seen the offensive. So I'm going to go for two block just in case. And he did go for the block. That's good. Okay. Can you not do it by itself? This would be awesome. Okay, go switch. Wow. It has not much more attack. I was thinking it would have 4,000. Okay, what's that? What's that card? Play it. What is it? Hey, I thought it would be something like that. I thought so. Three plus. Oh no! Oh no! We're in dire straits at 29,000! Oh, 26! <laughs> Just survive! 26,000! Okay, um. Whew! Second of Suchus, I think you're gonna have to come in and clear up, buddy. But that was a full out attack. So go for two and one reserve. Whew! That was close. If I hadn't have blocked, we would definitely have died. I thought we were dead for sure, though. Like, he hit us for five and doing 2,600, 2,900, I think it was. Okay. Oh, it goes for four. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, 
That was a that was a full on attack, right? Um, hmm. You know what? I kind of want to finish with Yudon doing a like an eight animation. So we're gonna go for four uh, reserves. We could have went for four block one reserve, but there would have been no difference. Like we'd just be staying at five the whole time. Uh, so it goes for three. So he's only got one block. Pearl of thrown to the floor. Brings in Yudon again, and this is it. The final hit. Now, are we going to get all eight hits in, or oh, is it going to go for one block? At eight attack, it can do 62,000 damage. Is it going to do it? Ah, oh, you little buggy. <laughs> Did you have to? This was Yudon's time to shine. And bear in mind, this is only a level 30. Just wait till this thing gets to level 40. If you could hit 10,000 likes! <laughs> right, okay, spin the wheel! Ooh, 100 VIP points. Not bad, I suppose. Would have, uh, I deserve a lot more for that battle, though. I used a lot of good cards that could have been traded for way more resources. And that is gonna have to wrap this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye!